Hello everybody, this is Jasmine Heen filming at the beautiful Tao Garden in Thailand. We'd like to welcome you to this first Pranic Living Pranic People event in Australia. I would love to be with you, however, I am continuing on with the research that I have been doing for a long time in this field. We know that people have access to this limitless source of energy that is everywhere. It is around us, it is within us, it is breathing us. And we are now aware that when this pulsation is strong enough, when that is our dominant frequency, that we naturally lose all of our hungers. And so in Darkroom each year, we apply very particular formula, a lifestyle recipe, a way of spending time that allow people to drop more out of that human personality self and more into the divine essence self, that pure and perfect nature that we all carry within. So as much as I would have loved to be with you this year, we are in Thailand, as you know, continuing on our research. The pranic field, this reality that a human being is self-sufficient, is a self-regenerating mechanism. This reality has been on earth and understood for thousands and thousands of years. For the last three years, I've been connecting deeply into China with the Bigu network there. And Bigu is a way of being fed by Mother Nature Chi, by Cosmic Chi, by energy. And it was something discovered by the Qi Gong masters in China, as we said, probably 6,000 years ago now. Then the yogis of India also were able to have the same sort of experience through their meditation practice, through living a very particular lifestyle that again allowed this pure nature, this energy that breathes us and gives us life to be the dominant pulsation through their body. You'll hear many people's stories here. You'll be offered different methodology in the next few days at this gathering. But it really is just a simple, simple science of frequency matching. When we live fixated on the external world, when all our reality is restricted by what we see, then on the external level with our physical eyes, then there are realms within realms and zones within zones that remain completely hidden to us. They are still there, but it's just not in conscious awareness. It's like television stations. I always say to people that maybe you think there are four or five television stations, but when you take that remote control, and that remote control is how we spend time, when you take a remote control and you go flick, 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 you can discover many other stations that you just didn't know were there and therefore almost appear to be untrue, unbelievable. It's like, well, I haven't experienced it. Science hasn't experienced it. People in academia don't talk about it. Doctors don't talk about it. Scientists don't talk about it. So therefore it's not there. <laughs> Our work in the Pranic Living Pranic People Network have been, has been about the journey of self-mastery about the journey of self-responsibility, about the willingness to play with energy. And that's what we do. And so we've been playing with formula. We've been looking at the success of other cultures with this. How come it's possible for an Indian yogi? 
How come this is the fastest, one of the fastest growing realities in China today? This ability to be fed in a different way by cosmic energy or Mother Nature energy through lifestyle, through Qigong and ancient Taoist practices. How come that happens in China? How come it's happening in India now? How come more and more people in the West are tuning into this freedom? What is their formula? What are they doing? What do they have in common? And this is what we've been focused on for the last 26 or so years. First, the unexpected, for me, experiential reality where my system just flipped into this. I wasn't looking for it. I didn't desire it. I never ever thought, oh, one day I'll be fed from source energy directly and I won't need physical food. No, I was just playing with energy. I knew from very young that when I meditated every day, my life was so different to when I didn't meditate. I didn't realize then that when I wasn't meditating, my brainwave patterns were anchored in the beta frequency zone, the busy zone. When I meditated, came back to the breath, came back to the present moment, came into silent stillness, the brainwave patterns changed. They went into the alpha frequency zone, and then they went deeper. Then they went into the theta zone and sometimes delta. Now, when you are permanently in this theta brainwave pattern, your whole physiology of your body is so different. You vibrate differently. Your personal frequency, your keynote, your energy transmission is different. And then we have science. What we give out comes back. The law of attraction. The law of giving it out, coming back, cause and effect. The law of resonance. And so we have been playing with energy. I've been playing with energy. When I became a full-time vegetarian, when I was about 13, 14, I really moved into this. My body felt so different to when I had a bit of junk food or lollies or, or meat or anything like that. It was a playing with energy and it was like, oh, I like it better when I'm vegetarian. And then when I flip to mainly a raw food diet, boy, does that change my energy. When I'm virtually vegan and raw food, and the way my digestive system changes because it's light, it's natural, there's no processed food. I need less energy in digestion and I get more energy in return for less energy expulsion. Suddenly my body's different. I'm feeling better. What do I feel like when I do yoga? or qigong compared to not exercising? What do I feel like when I dance and when I lighten up my attitude? What do I feel like? How do the fields respond to me when I decide to always look for the good in everything and in everyone rather than looking at what's wrong with me or what's wrong with life? How do this quantum intelligence respond to me? And it's so different. Zones after zones after zones of click, 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 different TV stations almost spring into life and you go, wow, wow. A little bit of refinement of our personal keynote, a little bit refinement of how we spend this incredible incredible commodity called time and everything about us is different and the way this quantum intelligence the biofeedback we get from quantum is so different and all these illusionary worlds just drop away and we find ourselves living a life that is so filled with grace living a life where it's like we're in awe 
at the magnificence of creation, where our heart is just constantly filled with gratitude, where our whole lives are like, wow, I didn't know. I didn't know that life on earth could be so magnificent. I didn't know that I have this body of light within me. And I didn't know the zones that this body of light contains that when we come into theta brainwave pattern and in the right heart energy, how these zones can just blossom and reveal themselves, including this self-sustaining, self-regenerative zone when essence is strong and we lose all human hunger. So the way that we work with pranic people, pranic living, is to just share that it is a journey of consciousness. It's a journey of coming back to pure nature. It's a journey of coming into your heart and saying, I want to know who I really am at the core of my being. And I want to feel it. And I want to be flooded with this energy. And I am now open to all its gifts. And I am open to its ability to take away all my hungers so that I may feel like a complete, free human being in this world. So that everything about my energy can be beneficial and nourishing through all realms. You've heard these words. Can your heart say yes to this? Yes, 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 I am ready. This journey is one of discernment. It's a journey of self-mastery. It's a journey of self-responsibility. It's a journey of you playing with your energy fields and your energy patterns. Now, if you can say, yes, I am free. I have no more human hunger. Yes, I am in permanent peace. Yes, my life is filled with grace. My heart is filled with gratitude. Then you are obviously tapping into this amazing source of nourishment. But if part of you goes, hmm, not quite there yet, then be prepared to change your model of reality. Open up. Open up and ask with a sincere heart to really know the truth of this for you. Because it can be such a simple journey that you can hold clear intention for. But then you need to go beyond the intention holding, beyond the idea of maybe, into the experience of yes, this is true for me, by living it, by experiencing it in a safe way. So, so don't give your power away to anybody. The perfect teacher is within you. Listen to everyone sharing with discernment. You'll know, you can feel the truth, you can feel people's energy emanations, you'll know what's right for you. But also through this gathering, maybe just use a very simple kinesiology test where you take your hand like this, connect thumb and finger, make a circuit, take the other hand and make a statement. And at this time you make the statement, try to pull apart the finger, break the circuit. And if it breaks, the answer is no, this is not a truth for you. But if it holds firm, then it is. You could begin by saying, it is in my blueprint, this life, to demonstrate being nourished physically, purely by prana, by source energy. I get a yes. This is what I'm meant to do. Born to do. Do you get a no? doesn't mean you can't do it if you get a no. It just means there's no drive for you now. It may be just a curiosity regarding your potential. But if you've got a yes, 
this is in my blueprint to demonstrate this life being physically nourished purely by prana if that holds firm for you then the next thing is to trust that if this is a truth for you you will be given all the love all the guidance all the support everything you need to make this a truth for you you will be given this life so just because somebody is offering methodology that work for them doesn't mean it'll work for you. The 21 day process that I went through in the early 1990s, it worked for me, but for many other people, it didn't. There is roughly a 10% success rate with that process. Why? Because it's not about a process. It's about frequency matching into the field. If you're already in a high chi state, if your essence, your pure nature is already very strong and dominant in your life, then flipping into this can be quick, just a change of mindset. And you may flip into this like some people for a year or five years or 10 years. And then you might say, okay, I've explored that fully. And now I want to go back to a slightly different way of being. Food physical food can be a great pleasure socially emotionally many things but being free from the need to take physical food is a fabulous fabulous experience but remember we eat all the time just differently this energy chi prana mother nature chi cosmic chi life force essence it's flowing through us like an ocean all the time so i eat 24 hours a day seven days a week constantly as this ocean of pure loving energy flows through me all the time and we're in this energy ocean it feeds us all all the time we just have to unhook from limited mental realities the limited mental reality that somebody else can show you the way doesn't mean we can't benefit from sharing research with each other. It doesn't mean we can't offer different methodology to the field that worked for us. But at the end of the day, we are all so unique. And some of you, you're going to get a yes. This is part of your blueprint. So if you get a yes, then your coding, your clear intention into quantum benevolence can just be, yes, if this is in my blueprint this life, then I ask to move into this with joy, with ease, with grace, in a natural, organic way, in the right way and the right time for me. Make this truth, lock this in. So we have offered a free online training series on our YouTube channel to give you a lot of insight into this reality, what the pranic people, pranic living reality is about from my experience the last 26 years, from my sharing with so many people in so many cultures. We have maybe around 80, 85,000 people in our world now who have gained this freedom. Most are not public. Most are just quietly living their life. But some people are public because that's the role that they've agreed to play this life. So we welcome you to the Pranic Festival in Australia and we ask you to come with an open mind, open heart, do a little bit of this, Remember, it's all about frequency matching. And I've noticed that when we have a slow organic process, there's about a 70% long-term success rate with this, where people really know that this freedom is theirs. And that's all that matters. You play with energy. You spend your time in a way that brings you into that rhythm of health and happiness and harmony and unity, harmony within yourself and harmony with all life on earth. And then you are free. 
this, whether you take physical food or not, not so important, but a great gift to gain a great freedom. What's important? Are you living your life to your highest potential? Have you explored all the zones and vibrational spectrums you carry within you? Are you able to be fully present in each now moment and enjoy timelessness and so many zones that are there for us to play in that leave us feeling, wow, wow, isn't life magnificent? This is Jasmine Heen from the Embassy of Peace welcoming you to this gathering. Namaste to you all.